YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I think I've finally done something that I'm uh, proud to say. Uh, it's my baby. I'm quite sure you, once you see it, you're going to be like, oh, I've seen something like this before. No, you haven't. This is mine. I created this one. And hopefully you can create one, something similar to it. It's brought to you by Uptime. Best drink in the world. Mental, physical, energy drink. If I can turn the camera around, I'd show you my facial expression, how this really got me feeling. But fuck that. Let's get right to it. This is a briefcase that I bought from uh, Love's gas station. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but you can buy it at Love's gas station. It's a really cheap price. It's not bad. I paid like 40 bucks for it. And it's a decent size. I have here a PlayStation 4 with a old Bluetooth speaker that I've hooked up to a lapel monitor. So 15.6 inch lapel monitor. Basically it's a computer monitor that you can use for whatever gaming system, whatever laptop, whatever desktop you want. I use mine for this PlayStation 4. And <clears throat> I'm not hooked up to any other internet source besides the hotel Wi-Fi. Yes, I'm in a hotel. Yes, I am. So, just to let you know, this can be done portably. I don't know if that's a word, but for me right now, it's nice and portable. Now, there's a couple of steps that I've taken to create this little portable station, gaming station. I purchased these at Walmart. These are just like some little refrigerator magnets. Came about six to eight to uh, eight of them inside this little package. I bought this little Gorilla glue gun. And the Gorilla, which I think works the best. The Gorilla glue sticks versus the original glue sticks. And all I did was basically <clears throat> glue the magnet piece to the back of the uh, briefcase and also glue the other side of the magnet to the back of the monitor itself. Now I have about six of them in here to hold it. And the reason why I did that is it's just for the spacing. You know, that's the only thing. And you know, this monitor doesn't get hot, none whatsoever, but I just chose to give it a little space. It looks a little bit cooler to me by it sitting off the wall. It looks like a little mini, uh, what do you want to call it? flat screen that's off the wall. Uh, once again, this little monitor comes with its own screen protector. It's attached to it. You can pull it off if you want to, but I choose to leave mine on. Uh, it's not touch screen. And I am connected to, like I said, PlayStation 4. This is me. I prefer to be on the road with something like this any day. And I hope you guys would love to uh, create something like this. It only costed me you no know, more than, I want to say about 55 bucks for everything if you already have your gaming console. And I was going to put this thing into it. But for some particular reason, 
it's not working for me how I want it to. It does have a battery in it. It does say it uh, has an outlet for the AC plug-in. So, I'm going to create something different. Whenever I get an opportunity, I will upload that video the next time. But for this video showing, I'm only showing what's done with this progress. So, if there's actually something you want to do, you can check out my uh, link in the description below. And I'll put everything that you need in the description. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy.